we're going to learn how to count filtered cells using a subtotal function. So you all have used the subtotal feature over here, but now we're going to use the function. So to start, we're going to filter our data. So I'm going to go to Data Filter. I'm going to go in here, unselect all of these items, and only check off number 4. So I only want to know class period 4. Now I'm going to use that function. And what it's going to let me do is only apply the function to these filtered cells, when normally it would apply them to all of the cells. So to start, I'm going to type equals subtotal. And the first thing you need to do is identify what you're trying to do. Are we averaging them, counting them, counting text, max, min, product? In this particular example, we're going to count. So then I'm going to add a comma. And if you notice down here, it's trying to help you, tell you what's next. So it says function number, which is 2, and that stands for count. And you can see a little chart over here on the right that will help you with that. After that, I need to give them the range that I want to use. And I want to count these cells right here, and I'm going to close the parentheses. So it tells me that I have nine students in class period four. So how many students are enrolled in class period four? The answer is nine. And you'll notice that even if I type in B5 through B44, that's what the colon stands for, through, which is the entire range, it still comes back with the number nine. So it's only calculating this filtered data.